Hey there today, we're going to see how to create this fingerprint scanning animation in Figma. So, let's jump right in without wasting any time. First things first, make sure you've got your icons downloaded. Now, flatten the fingerprint icon and create a duplicate. Alright, select the first one and set it to soft light and also lower its opacity. Next step, mask a rectangle to that fingerprint icon. This masked rectangle is going to be the secret sauce for our animation. This rectangle is our silent hero. It'll help us to hide the fingerprint. Slide that rectangle down to hide the icon. Smooth, right? Now, select both fingerprint icons and turn them into a frame. Easy peasy. Duplicate that frame twice. In the third frame, move the rectangle up to unveil the fingerprint icon again. Now, select the second and third frames and let's turn them into a component set. Time for some action. Let's add a prototype. And now, on to the loading animation. Now duplicate it, rotate 90 degrees. Repeat same process two more times. Voila, four frames. Select them and convert them into another component set. Let's add a prototype to this. All right, we've got all the components we need. Let's bring in the frame. Add background colors to this. Then add the fingerprint icon. And then add the fingerprint component. Align them perfectly. But hold on. Turn off the visibility of the fingerprint component for now. Add the loading component. Now add some text to it. And set the opacity to zero. Duplicate the frame. In the second frame, ditch the fingerprint icon, turn on the visibility of the fingerprint component, and set the opacity of loading component to 100. Now duplicate this frame. In this frame, drop the opacity of the loading component back to zero. Shrink the fingerprint component and set its opacity to zero. Now, add the secured icon. Copy, paste in the second frame. Shrink it and opacity down to zero. Looking good.
Let's add a prototype to this. Set the after delay timing for 2200 millisecond, considering our fingerprint animation runs for 2500 millisecond. Time to test it out. Uh-oh, not quite right. No worries, let's fix it. Make sure to turn on Reset Component State for both frames. One more test run. Boom, perfectly smooth. So, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit a like button, leave a comment, and share your thoughts about it. I love hearing from you, and your feedback helps me to create more valuable content for you. That's it for now. Guys. We go back and forth every time, waiting for one of us to cross the line. You got me.